Hey, how's it going all you lovely people at Shut Door or Door Shutter coming back to you with a brand new episode of the Direwolf 21.20 mod pack. Today is episode 23, and behind me we have an increasingly filling tank. Uh, and I will not show you guys how this is actually working, because all I did is I took 50 extractors like I said I was going to, and put them in the basement. Uh, the reason I'm not going to show you is as of current, it is strobing really badly. Uh, I believe mechanism tanks, whenever they get filled, they emit a light, uh, light source, basically. And then, since the fluid's always being piped out, it emits a light source, stops, emits, stops. So, basically, creates a strobe effect. And so, we're going to spare you guys on looking at that. But there is 50 down there, exactly. Uh, I went ahead and even auto-crafted all of these extractors. So, you know, I just don't want to have to put a warning on this video. So, we're just going to ignore it. So... Uh, one thing I wanted to test real quick is earlier I had 70 buckets in here and I pulled out three and it emptied the tank. So let's try this. One, two, three. How many buckets are left? Uh, looks like it works normally. Let's just grab a handful. Okay, yeah, it looks like it didn't do it this time. I don't know, I had 70 in there, I thought, from last episode... Pulled out several, not all of them, because I went to the nether and grabbed it, grabbed uh, lava from there. But uh, yeah, I pulled three buckets or so out of there and it emptied the entire thing. So I don't know if it was a fluke or something, but yeah. So we've got lava. That's the biggest thing right now. We have lava production. Um, and we're going to get about a bucket every second or so, um, I think. Just a roundabout there. Uh, we don't have any upgrades or anything on the pipes that are pulling out just because it's 50 millibuckets per tick. Um, they're like normally, so we're good on that. We have a whole bunch of basic tanks down there, and uh, that is decent. So, quickly, I wanted to look at the dragon egg um, extractor recipe one more time here. Because I believe I saw somebody talking about this in the comment section of the last episode about how I was almost there. And we're going to see here. So if we rotate this, I thought this is how I had it. Oop, not that way. Where it turned yellow. Then I need to put it on the opposite end. Hold on. Um, torch. I thought I had this thing turning yellow earlier. Come on. Just grab a barrel real fast. Huh. All right, so I actually can come downstairs now because it stops flashing. Uh, and the reason it stopped flashing is because it is full up here. Uh, so everything is now just being set into the actual tanks themselves, which has about a 32 bucket buffer. So each one of these basically allows for us to have a backup, a backfill. So if we pull out a bucket, basically it should immediately be filled by one of those tanks or multiple of those tanks. Uh, which is awesome. Man, look, this is so crazy. 1,400 buckets. 1,400 buckets. Also, I uh, quickly just went ahead and attempted to set this up the way it did. Uh, went yellow in the last episode. It did not work. Um, so I'm not 100% sure. Uh, somebody did say it would work, but it does not appear to do that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure why, but that's all right. So I've also been kind of troubleshooting... Uh, one of these crushers because apparently I forgot to actually do an insert card on this ender chest So this one has not been running for a while my bad. Oh, well it happens So coppers being run through this is actually now just completely empty So we this system has basically emptied out our entirety of our um, uh, Entirety of our actual drawers in here. So uh, Once that copper finishes, it's going to be complete permanently um for a little while unless we go get the builder stuff 
but I'm just, I'm glad that this is now functioning properly. So let's actually go over to the builder here because it's been a minute since I've actually went over there. Uh, let's see, go here, go here. And this is probably finished a while ago. So we have 4,000 iron, 3,000 gold, 20,000 copper, uh, 10,000 lapis, 101. Okay, so this stopped, I guess, last time we looked at this because I remember these numbers. So let's quickly snag up all of the materials we can hold in here. And then let's also do this with the blocks. Okay. And then the rest of this can be taken somewhere else. I need to actually get this and this put into the ores category. So we can actually take those. And then I think that's all I really need. Let's, do I have packing tape on me? Yes, yes I do. So let's snag this. Actually, I guess we don't really need to do this. But I guess if we wanted to move it, we could. But I'm just going to keep it here, actually. And I'm just going to make the range bigger. And I kind of want to get a, a clearing quarry, actually. Real fast. Let's go look at this. So a clearing quarry is just surrounding this in glass. And then that way, it'll be um, like a giant cleared area, which might be interesting. So first corner, and then uh, we're going to go way past this. I don't know how far we want to go past, because I don't know the actual range at which this can operate. So let's see. So all the way to the bottom. Okay, so I've got it set. And it is now running, clearing quarry, which I think 90% of this is going to be dirt because of the fact that we did use the original card and it replaces everything it broke with dirt. Um, but for now, it'll be fine. It's going to run until it gets over far, far over here uh, where we were digging. You can see the whole way out there. So we'll get resources out of this. But uh, yeah, this is going to be decent. I'm going to let this run. Let's quickly just hop back home here. Could use that, but it's all right. Uh, let's get all of our materials uh, over here. So quickly, I also want to take out this and this. And I'm just going to grab a void upgrade. Just slap on the copper one here. And then we're going to go ores. And that voided however much copper we had in there besides 2,000. I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> I'm just going to avoid it because right now I don't really care. I think we have enough. So. All right. But yeah, so this is going to start running. We're going to get some aluminum. We're going to get some iron, gold, all of these different goodies. Uh, I've also had to change up this because the chest fills up occasionally and the nuggets just get past it. So I went ahead and just altered that a little bit. But uh, nothing else really has changed here. And uh, yeah, so this is cruising. This is going to give us quite a bit of resources here in the next little while. This thing is definitely slow. Uh, I will mention that. It is definitely slow. Uh, the biggest holdup is actually this. Because you can see here that we have no items going in. And that... Yeah, just no items. So if we actually see if we can crank this. So this is 192. Do like 232. See if we can get those crushers moving quicker. Yeah, because I want basically items on this belt so that actually you can use that ex excess uh, breeze of water there. So, I don't know. We'll let it sit. We'll come back to it later. And uh, we'll, we'll get into something else here. So quickly, I don't actually know... Um, we may lose 1,400 buckets of lava here, but I'm kind of curious. Can I take out this valve and move it up? We're going to try this. I'm hoping it doesn't do what I think it's going to do, but we'll see. So place that back here. Place that here. Oh, it kept it all. That is awesome. Okay. I was just curious. I didn't want to lose all of that, but if I did, I did. So we're going to grab an ender tank here. 
And we're just gonna place this here and then get a pipe because I wanna be able to transmit this fluid further away here. Um, I guess actually we really don't technically need a pipe here. If you don't remember, this actually has the ability to pull fluids, I'm pretty sure. Let me see, I think you need a lever for it though. And a piston. Give me a second, I think. It's been a minute since I've messed with this mod. Okay, so let's rotate this. Okay, so I think the way I want to do this is grabbing stone, cobblestone, whatever. Breaking this block. Wondering where my cobblestone just went. There it is. Yeah, there it goes. So now we're able to pump, but it looks like the pistons actually disappeared on this. The upgrade... Okay, so I guess that's broken, but that's okay. So we're able to pump 4,000 millibuckets per, and I don't know if that's actually what we need, but I'm guessing we can also grab ender pearls real fast. Just to upgrade the capacity of this. I don't know how high the capacity goes on this, I guess. Okay, let me go grab some more ender pearls here. Okay, so of course, Eyes of Ender actually do more per per out iteration, but that's okay. So 256 is the max. And so now we have uh, 256 buckets in this and, uh, you know, 1,400 in that. So we're, we've got a big capacity just with like two tanks here, plus however many 32, millibu or 32 bucket tanks down there are getting full. Okay, so the next thing we want to look at here is going down to the pedestals room because we're going to try and automate obsidian. This is going to be a little bit trickier than the other ones because this one actually includes fluid. So we're going to have to see how we want to fully set this up here. So uh, we're going to need a pedestal. So pedestal. Need some stone slabs here. And we're going to want Crying Obsidian. Because that is our base block. And then we're going to want a Material Generator. Which is just missing the upgrade base. Okay. Uh, let me quickly get this sped up. One, two, three, four. The Obsidian we currently have in the system. One, two, three, four. Perfect. I'll get this sped up real fast. All right. So I think what we'll want to do is we want to keep this as similar as possible to these other ones. So what I'm going to try is grabbing a modular router, grabbing a fluid mark two. I don't even know how these work. So we're going to kind of have to figure this one out real fast here. So, um, transfer into the router, transfer out of the router. So transfer in. Uh, how, how much can we put in here? 5,000? I don't really care about the actual fluid blacklist or whitelist, but we'll just throw one on here just in case. Okay. So, that'll be able to take, so we'll just do this, and then we'll want another one, if I'm understanding this correctly. So we'll want another fluid module, Mark 1, Mark 2. We'll just grab a basic tank, just to test. So this, 
we'll want to send away from the router, we'll say 5,000. We're going to force it. Okay, so I don't think that's how this works. Okay. Um, so let's see about a modular fluid. We do have this. We have a fluid transfer upgrade. So we have a polar module. So we got that polar module here. So can we put, or do I need to put one of these in here? Hmm. Because I don't think we'll be able to do this with polar modules. This should be able to do this. Is there a tank upgrade that we're missing or something? Uh, fluid... So there's only those. Transfer into router, transfer out of router. I'll be right back. Okay, hold on. Um, quickly, let's turn force off. Let's just do a thousand and a thousand. And then let's change this to transfer into router. And we're going to put a lava bucket here. Okay. So this actually did transfer. And we are going to get rid of this. So this should be able to... Did this... Oh, the pump's different. Okay, anyway. Um... I don't know why... It's not working there. So let's grab a fluid um, modular router. If I can type here, goodness gracious. Let's just grab a Mark 1. Okay, let's let this make a little bit more sense here. So left side, whitelist, lava bucket. Um, can I just do this? Okay, it just changes to that. I was just making sure. Um... And we should be able to do that. Put the lava bucket in. And it refuses to pull out. Okay. Um, well, I'm not going to be doing this all day. Because that is annoying. The fact that it's not just working. So let's get rid of that option. Let's just do laser IO. Which I was really trying to prevent. Um, doing laser IO, but we'll make it work by using a schnazzy entangle block and entangle binder and a laser wrench, most likely. Okay, so bound this to here, and then let's actually move this up one. I think I should be able to pipe into this with the ender tank itself. So let's try a lever. But I have to make sure I'm actually piping this in the right direction. Okay, so it actually is, um, but we want to make sure we get some pistons. Five pistons will work. Shift right click to increase that pump capacity. Okay, and then we'll want to grab a drawer. I guess we didn't really need laser IO after the fact, right? Or modular routers, but that's okay. So we'll grab a puller upgrade from functional storage. So this should be about the same, right? So this is going to just continuously pump and give us obsidian. And then the inventory module, or the inventory checker. Why did I say module? 
been playing with modular routers for a minute, and I think that just confused my brain. All right, so inventory checker. This is going to be just like how we've done in the past. Uh, we're going to say 10,000 on this. And then we're going to grab some redstone conduit. So here, 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 and here, here. Uh, grab a redstone lamp. We're going to make sure we insert, take extract off. Extract, insert, perfect. And then 10,000. We're going to go for functional storage upgrade. Copper sounds good. That'll be 16,000, right? Perfect. And then slap a void upgrade on there because I don't really want more than 10,000 in our system. And that should be everything. Uh, let's also quickly just make this look a little nicer. Uh, oak. I don't know why I just typed at oak, but that's okay. And that is a complete obsidian automation. Uh, let's go check on our lava. How are we doing? Okay. So we are kind of staggering a little bit. Let me go check downstairs, of course, because since this is active, we're most likely getting a strobe effect, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we actually are not getting the strobe effect downstairs, and uh, there was no, uh, no real movement down there, which is kind of interesting. So, how are we doing? I mean, this is just going to be constant. The pedestal is basically the, the limitation at this point, because we're making so much lava per second that it is legitimately not affecting this, uh, the, the whole lava system. So, yeah, we should get to 10,000 without any issue uh, let's quickly get our linking tools, all of that stuff. Um, I quickly also want to empty out our drives just a little bit to make sure we're not, you know, doing anything silly here. So let's get this stuff pulled over. Uh, looks like they have emptied out our drive already, which is good. It's exactly what I want. Because I know we had like things like dripstone and stuff in there that needed to be sent over. But yeah, so that did it pretty quickly. Um... And we're, we're not strobing, which is good. You can see that some of these tanks are kind of getting lesser, but there's still 26 buckets in each one of these things. So that is awesome. Um, and once those hit zero, of course, that's when they start strobing. So 26 buckets away. Um, yeah, that is awesome. Also, I have no idea what we're going to do with this Dragon's Breath. I know sigils of socketing are going to be fantastic with it. Uh, some modular... Uh, Golem stuff we can do with it. Solar panels. Enchanting. Huh. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm glad we've got automated obsidian. That is fantastic. Because that will just help us in the long run anyway. Uh, because obsidian is used for quite a few things, including flux networks. And uh, yeah, we're already at a thousand. Man, that is nuts. That lava production is not going to be beat by anything, I don't think. So, uh, and I might double it honestly, so we can make at least two thousand buckets per uh, per iteration. That might be something to look at in the future. Man, we are cruising. We are cruising. This stuff is actually flat moving because um, it's only been probably thirty minutes since we looked at that last. Because uh, I've you know done cuts in between, but uh, yeah. With that, we're going to wrap this one up here. This has been a fantastic episode. We've got lava production that, you know, is never going to run out. And we've also got obsidian, which is fantastic. And sooner or later, we'll stop and we'll have 10,000. Be nice. Um, and uh, I also really need to get this uh, nether star or skeleton, wither skeleton thing set back up. Because I actually do need the yellow hearts that come from this. I just have not, you know, got the ender chest over here. Because this is actually functioning. Remember, this is, uh, I just need to turn these off. So if I just did this and this, you know, it would start placing things. And, of course, it would start working. Uh, I just, you know, haven't had it on. There's no reason to, really. Because um, I still haven't got the ender chest with the skulls and stuff set up. But I think next episode, we'll get that finalized completely. But remember, it's automated. It's not like it really matters um too much i'm not worried about it breaking or anything i think this is actually a pretty flawless system um and in, in total so that is awesome as well and i guess i never did set up an item collection so yeah next episode we'll figure that out we'll finish that up it should take only like four or five minutes nothing too crazy but uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for all the support on these videos as well it has been fantastic to see 
uh, people liking the videos, commenting, and uh, of course subscribing to the channel. And if you if you feel like it, if you the person watching this are not subscribed, please do subscribe. Um, I don't uh, you know I don't mind. It'd be nice. Thanks. Have a good one. Stay awesome. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye bye.